Hi everybody and welcome to English Grade 5. Today's lesson will be about produce from our farms, and I hope that you will enjoy it. Our learning objectives for today's lesson are to Identify and interpret main ideas and details in an oral text. Identify and interpret main ideas and details in a written text. Analyze and evaluate main ideas and details in a written text. Identify the meaning of new words and use them in context. Identify the subject and the predicate of a sentence. Use subject pronouns. Focus on vocabulary before reading. In these activities, you will identify the meaning of new words and use them in context. Farming words. Name what is in the picture. Drag each word to the correct box. Look at the answer. What is the farmer doing in each picture? Drag each expression to the correct box. Look at the answer. Farming words. Guess the meaning of the words in bold. Your plant seems weak. Why don't you add some fertilizers to its soil? It will become stronger and grow faster. What are fertilizers? Look at the answer. You should remove all kinds of weeds that grow next to your plants. Otherwise, your plants will die. What are weeds? Look at the answer. Complete the sentences with the right words. 1. Look at the farmers working in there, they're plowing the soil and taking care of their lands. 2. These are flower, I'm going to plant them in my garden and water them every day until they grow and blossom. 3. My uncle has two horses and three cows in, he takes care of them and feeds them every day. 4. Grandpa bought some, to feed his animals. 5. The farmer is cutting the wheat using a sharp. 6. You need good, for your plants and trees to grow properly. Look at the answer. Focus on reading its harvest time. It's harvest time. It's the end of June. Amir's summer vacation has just started and the first thing he plans to do is spend some time at his grandpa's farmhouse in the countryside. Early in the morning, when the sun comes up, Amir follows his grandpa to the barn. There he helps him milk the cows. Feed hay to the horses, and scatter grains to the hungry chickens and geese. When they have finished the farm chores, they walk back to the farmhouse. Grandma has prepared boiled eggs, warm milk, and fresh bread for breakfast. Yummy! I can't resist the smell of your delicious bread, Grandma! shouts Amir. It seems you're as hungry as the animals on the farm replies grandma with a warm smile i love this bread thank you grandma you better hurry up amir we've got lots of work to do today it's harvest time harvest time what do you mean grandpa what are we going to do we're going to harvest the wheat crop today it's time to gather the wheat we've been taking care of for months replies grandpa isn't grandma's bread made up of wheat, grandpa? Sure. Wheat is essential to the making of bread, pastry, pasta, and many other foods, said grandpa. Who are the main characters in the story? Grandpa the farm workers Amir grandma. Look at the answer.
Where does the story take place? At the farm in the mountains in the city. Look at the answer. When does the story take place? In spring, in winter, in the summer. Look at the answer. Focus on grammar subject and subject pronouns. In these activities, you will Identify subjects and predicates in sentences. Use the appropriate subject pronouns. The subject. The subject is what the sentence is about. Examples. The workers are picking grapes. What is the sentence about? The workers the grape vines are growing very fast. What is the sentence about? The grape vines the gardener is watering his flowers. What is the sentence about? The gardener. The predicate gives information about the subject. It tells you what the subject does or how it is. It's also called the telling part. Example. The workers are picking grapes. What are the workers doing? They are picking grapes. The grape vines are growing very fast. What are the grape vines doing? They are growing very fast. The gardener is watering his flowers. What is the gardener doing? He is watering his flowers. Subject pronouns. A pronoun is a word that replaces a noun or a phrase. Pronouns that replace the subject in a sentence are called subject pronouns. Subject pronoun. I. You. He. She. It. We. They. Example. Kamal is working on the field. He is working on the field. First person, I and we I refers to the one who's speaking. It indicates the first person singular. Example, my name is George. I am a farmer. We indicates the first person plural. Example, my wife, my son, and I love our life on the farm. We're a happy family. Second person, you you is used to refer to the person or the people the speaker is talking to. It is singular or plural. Example. You should visit the farm one day. You will have a lot of fun. Third person singular, he, she, it, he, she, and it indicate the third person singular. He is used to refer to a singular male person, a man or a boy. Example, this is my son, Joseph. He is 10 years old. He has a lovely dog. She is used to refer to a singular female person, a girl or a woman. Example, this is my loving wife, Samar. She is an amazing cook. It is used to refer to one inanimate object or one animal. Example, this is an apple tree. It's the oldest tree on the farm. In the barn there's a cow. It is black and white. Third person plural, they they is used to refer to several people, things, or animals. Example. Look at these lovely flowers. They are so colorful. In the chicken coop, there are 14 chickens. They are a bit noisy, but they lay plenty of eggs. Read the following passage. My name is George. I am a farmer. I have a small farm in the countryside. This is my loving wife, Samar. She is an amazing cook. She helps me with my farm chores. This is my son, Joseph. He's 10 years old. He has a lovely dog. In the barn, there's a cow. It is black and white. It gives us a lot of fresh milk every day. In the chicken coop, there are 14 chickens. They are a bit noisy, but they lay plenty of eggs. This is an apple tree. It is my favorite. It is the oldest tree on the farm. Look at these lovely flowers. They are so colorful. Every year, they grow in spring and die in winter. My wife, my son, and I love our life on the farm. We're a happy family. You should visit the farm one day. I'm sure you will have a lot of fun. What do the words in parentheses replace or refer to? Drag the words into the correct boxes. 1. My name is George. I am a farmer. I have a small farm in the countryside. I. 2. This is my loving wife, Samar. 
She is an amazing cook. She. 3. This is my son, Joseph. He is 10 years old. He has a lovely dog. He. 4. In the barn, there's a cow. It is black and white. It. 5. In the chicken coop, there are 10 chickens. They lay plenty of eggs. They. 6. This is an apple tree. It's the oldest tree on the farm. It. 7. Look at these lovely flowers. They are so colorful. They. 8. My wife, my son, and I love our life on the farm. We are a happy family. We. Look at the answer.